Hey, it's Marcus Lashock. Just wrapping up the media day for Orion at Kings Island. Thought I'd give you a little bit of recap of everything that uh, we did today as well as show you my full ride. Um, first, I'm gonna flip you around here. Just take a look at the film or the um, Area 72 here and what they did with some of the theming. With all the paranormal theming and everything. We got the meteor that crashed over here. You see the smoke coming out of the meteor which is really cool. And then just behind that, you see this van is Orion. There it is standing right over the whole area here. Got some tables set up, some, you know, top secret looking buildings. It's pretty neat. You walk right under Racer to get here. Um, it's neat. And what's really neat is, so I'm walking to Orion here. I turn around and there is Diamondback, their other BNM hyper coaster. You know, but there's there's the BNM there, and there's the BNM here with Orion, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and uh, show you my ride here, and I'll talk about it after. So here we go up the first hill. It's an 85 degree first drop. That's like straight down, and we're gonna hit a top speed of 91 miles an hour. Get my face masks all face mask all ready. You gotta have a face mask at Kings Island, even on the rides. The view up here is absolutely stunning. Looking around at all the trees, the rest of the park. Here we go. First drop, first time on Orion, slowing down a little bit. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Whoa! And then we're going into a wave turn here. Oh, you are like completely sideways. Woo! <laughs> A little dip. It's a great drop. Uh, really great. When the train gets right to the top of the hill, it kind of stutters a little bit. So if you're in the front, you kind of hang out there, you look over the edge, and then you go. Which is, it's a great view um, of the whole area. Just here up there, it's just beautiful to see everything, see the rest of the park, see all the trees. It's really cool. Probably my favorite element is that first element after the drop, where you come up and you turn, I mean, almost completely perpendicular to the ground. You're, you're there and you're hanging out sideways looking right down at the ground. If you're in the left side of the car, it's like you, you're seeing the ground right there, right to your side. It's really cool. So yeah, and as for the rest of the ride, you know, you've got some great airtime. You've got some turns, tight turns, just speed throughout, and you've got some little airtime hills, which are fun. You know, it's, it's fun. It's one of those rides that uh, the drop's really great and you can re-ride it over and over again. You know, that's, that's the BNM staple, right? where you can just keep riding it. You can keep riding it. It's really smooth. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a mask. I was wearing a mask on the ride. Kings Island requires you to wear masks. You got to wear masks throughout the park. They have three places in the park where you can go and you can take off your mask. Uh, relax zones, I think they're calling it. Something like that. Um, where you can go and get your mask off and take a breather for a little bit. But they said that they will be enforcing this. There will be ambassadors, people throughout the park who will be... Um, watching people, making sure that they're distancing and calling you out if you're not uh, distancing enough uh, or if you're not um, if you're not distancing enough in lines and if you're not wearing your mask. They're, they said they're going to be on top of that uh, to make sure that happens. So um, today's a really hot day. It is a really warm day here. As you can tell, I'm really sweating. Also, I'm walking with a bunch of equipment on my back, but um, I would be taking advantage of those zones today. So there you go. I'm, I'm really excited to hear your thoughts on the ride, what you think about it when you ride it. Will you come out to ride it this year? Will you come out in a mask to the park and check it out? Curious to know what your thoughts were on that. This is the first. I rode a roller coaster at Indiana Beach, um, Cornball Express, a couple of days ago with a mask on. Had really no problems. It's a little different Cornball Express to going 91 miles an hour on Orion. So there you go. I would love to hear it. So just go ahead and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about the ride after seeing more of it. 
Do you plan to ride it? Do you plan to come out? And if you have come out and then you're watching this video, I want to hear your thoughts. Tell me about your thoughts, your experience at the park and everything else. Don't forget to follow me on social media. You can follow me everywhere. Um, at Marcus Lashock on Instagram, Marcus Lashock on Facebook. Look for the blue check mark. And Twitter as well, at Marcus Lashock, blue check mark. You can see, you can find me there. And uh, appreciate all y'all watching. And be safe. Talk to you soon.